It's time for more manhandle. So let's just pretend that I wasn't uh, gone for like forever. And enjoy in the fact that we are back to a slow computer again. Sad. Very sad. Alright, uh, so... What the hell happened in the month or so? <laughs> And I'm dealing with a cold. Or the after effects of a cold. Like I'm not cold anymore, but I have my uh, infinity cough that's just not going away. Alright, so um, last time, right, we were... I was... Uh, we were digging for dolomite. We're digging for material. But we've never really found any, right? We have tetrahedrite, which is a... And we have a forgotten beast, right? The uh, towering feathered alligator. Nobly shell, undulate rhythmically, be aware it's webs. Okay. Well, I mean, even though I don't remember exactly what I did, based on my behavior, I would say that uh, I am running away from the Forgotten Beast and I'm not going to touch it forever. So that's not really an issue. But, anyways, so I remember uh, being very happy that we're in Dolomite but less happy that I couldn't find any iron. Which means we're gonna have to go, like, um... Uh, basically full steel warrior type of thing. So, uh, oh, this is not the, this is not the latest version. I, remember, I need to remember that. But yeah. <coughs> Sorry. The update for uh, hill fort, or not hill forts, but basically, like, people you can dominate is right around the corner. So, um... That's a thing, I guess. I don't know if this save will carry over very well on the during the time that, uh... You know, we roll over to... Uh, we That new version comes out, and then we roll over to, uh, you know, mass conquering, mass... Just taking everybody over and stealing all their money. But, um... You know, if it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. Not a big deal. Uh, okay. So, this is a wall of type... Nice. Okay. Is it nice or nice? It's a nice, right? Like, you have blood relations with this rock. Oh. I forgot about you. Okay. Sorry. By the stresses of day-to-day -day living. Oh, right. 40, uh... I don't remember what the version name is, but... The latest version, uh, changes... How stresses and moods were... Or, not moods, but how basically, basically how stress works. So I should probably look at that at some point. I mean, I've been looking at that, but I've never actually installed it, so, you know. Uh, there was a troll. There's probably no goblins involved, right? Yeah. It was just a troll that just came out and was annoying. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> so let's keep on keeping on. If memory serves, the goal of this game is to establish a militia and take over everybody. So, uh, we're, uh, we're, you know, not quite there yet. And because of the speed of that of this game, I think we're gonna be going in, uh... Thank you, Lolar Pines Labors, for meditating on fortresses. But, um, we're just gonna go on in a, like, you know, monthly... Monthly sections. Just because... It's easier to cut that way, I suppose. Dodok Sinkington has become a wrestler. Oh, right. The training. Oh, right, right, right. The outside here is a meeting area that is a temple. The inside here is actually training. So, since, uh. Not really since, but. Since they're training to begin with, they are just wrestling and stuff. 
This is more for... This commentary is more for me so I can understand what's going on after a while of not doing anything. Because I would imagine that if you have found this video, you know how this game works. <laughs> like, this is eminently not, you know, let's learn Door Fortress. Especially with my, uh, twitchy fingers. Alright, so now we're just waiting. Um... I have my fortress. I have my, uh. uh be, yeah, okay, so that would probably be F8, because that's what I do. We have melting metal objects, we have steel, we have a bit of copper. Oh, am I doing the trick already? Probably? Yes. Copper pig, copper battle axe. How many am I making? Four and five. Okay. So I'm basically stashing... <laughs> stashing equipment for uh, new workers. Cool. Now since steel is going to be a bit of a premium, we will use it exclusively for armor. Maybe. Or is our armor just going to be a mishmash of sheep leather and uh, steel? Because... Even if we are above ground, you know, dwarves who kind of do their own thing, we still like steel. All the steel. Uh, they're practicing, they're practicing. Looks like they're doing well. There's a lot of jumping away. Proficient discipline, skilled observer, just combat skills. Oh, okay. Hmm. If we're gonna become like silver mace wielding paladin types, it's therefore ironic that we're gonna be. Oh. Uh. A little on the side of mass murdery, I guess. War leader. Pretty sure I wasn't the one who gave him that title, right? Yeah. I like dumber titles. Or at least less interesting ones. Okay. What's this? Uh, just pebbles, okay. What's everyone doing? Uh, N. Nope. Q. I have forgotten my hotkeys all of a sudden. You. There we go. Building stuff. Man, we're living. We're living and we're kind of dealing with the after effects of dealing with that, uh... What was it? The were sheep. Creeping eye. What? What? Crawls across the cavern ground wall with his four clawed hands, single large eye. Decide to feed on evil alone. Well, I mean, if it, if it feeds on evil, then that makes it a inherently good thing, right? I mean, that's sound logic, right? Also, warm ceilings, get down here. To kill some eyes. Go in with your fists. Okay, so we're done making bones. Oh god, Al. He 
He is killing you. He is killing you. Oh yeah, we we'll also need to uh these tables are shits. Okay. We're in the middle of doing a lot of stuff. Okay, cool. Alright. Pushes. <laughs> Just push the neck. Where is my uh, creeping eye e core? Okay. Where are my eye punchers? There they are. Okay, looks like they killed it. <laughs> Take it down, huh? I approve. Nice. Nice. Okay. I think that's all of them. There's one more. Get in there. Kill it. Kill it. Is it dead? Yes. Alright, good job. Return to your training. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, based on the fact that they're described to be feed, to be, you know, feeding on evil, I, I would imagine that they would be friendly to us, but whatever. It scratched up one of my guys, so that's reason enough. Reason enough for us to punch all of its friends to death. Uh, make it out of cobalt type blocks. That way we can start putting in the roof. Light containing item. I'm gonna guess that that kind of message spam is just not gonna go anywhere for a while because that's how I operate. God damn. <laughs> this thing's literally killing troglodyte troglodytes left and right. <laughs> He's dead. He did. We're not gonna touch that thing. If it's possible to unleash it on our enemies, then I will, but... I, I'm not that smart. Okay, so everything that could be melted has been melted down. Excellent, excellent. I need anvils, so let's make some anvils. At the cost of my delicious, delicious steel. Whoa! That's bad news, bears. Oh, where Marmo, huh? So that's new. That's new, and that's not pleasant. Welp. Oh god, guys. Okay, so he dead. He dead. There's a caravan coming in. We're Marmo. Bites the worker, scratches the worker. Okay. It might have been better had you died, huh? Alright. So you got your ass bit. Which is not pleasant. Can we get, like, anti violence gloves? <laughs> as dumb as that sounds. Is it possible for us to make, like, you know... No, 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 not gloves, muzzles. We need muzzles. We need the ability to, ability to stop our guys from biting everybody. Uh, also, we need to go ship all these things out. Oh, let's, let's also sell some food, because... 
stew. Roasts and stews are valuable, so. Alright. Well, that's a thing. Oh, so I knew about it. That's why he was a leader in his own squad. Well. Good to know. This werefolk issue is really irritating. Not gonna lie. I would like to I would like to like inquisition my guys, you know? Kinda be like, alright, now that, you know. Now that I know you're a were beast. Or rather you've been bitten by a were beast with a chain you up. Trump up a charge or whatever. Like do you know, do all the things that an empire is logically supposed to be able to do. Basically be a dick to its people. <clears throat> also, it's only early autumn too. That's a surprise. Well not really a surprise, I guess. We move the speed of molasses. You're a human wrestler now. So I guess we should make the uh Oh yeah, what ton of glass for Uh probably because we're gonna build a um, build with it. That seems like the type of thing I would do. Yeah, it's the type of thing I would do. <laughs> Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. I don't have a well. Okay. Um, that's unpleasant. Oh wait, that's not the right one. All right. So, what do we have to do about that? I don't remember if the water froze the first time around. froze, then we're gonna have to dig for a well, and if it did not freeze, then we're fine. Ish. Also, I need more manpower. Did I, I wonder if I locked the size of our... Uh, of the people we're supposed to get. thing with the... Um, okay, so I'm gonna put all of my non-sheep 
animals in a different location. And we're going to put all of our sheep animals here. Because I want to. Lamb, lamb, ew, ew, lamb. Okay. How feasible it is, it, it would it be to just start with like two guys and a ton of sheep? I think the answer is not very, huh? As always, I will import all your sheep leather because I don't want to cut them myself. And... All your hematite, all your lemonite. Do you have magnetite? Yes, you do. Send it all to me. That's all I care about. I practice mercantilism. Okay, drinks, scepters, clutch, crutches, and plants. AKA things I do not care to trade. Trader, please get to the trading depot, please. Please and thank you. Medi Cook Mute, welcome. I hope your name is an indication indicator of your willingness to cook for mute people rather than to cook mute people. Uh, all right, now let's floor over this area. That way we'll be f we'll force whatever monsters to uh, come out. Well, maybe not necessarily to come out, but like to just you know go with the flow. Uh, I don't think I have like a dedicated. Um, resting. Yeah, I don't think I have, like, a dedicated, uh... House of Knowledge... yet. Totem. We can make totems with all those skulls that we have. And then we have two. Dead. I am reasonably certain that a neck is not a bone. Unless we've chopped off that very specific section of your, you know, of the spine that acts as the neck. But that seems a little, uh... Exact. Yay, he's finally going to trade. Oh, okay, uh... Stop processing plants, start mashing plants into slurry. Let's begin that paper production. I'm trying really hard not to cough because it's annoying. It annoys me as much as, as much as it annoys you. Give me all your raw mats. I want all your raw mats. 
Um, now, before we get any further, let's see if we can... Sheep leather! Sheep leather, sheep leather, sheep leather, sheep leather. Alright, cool. And uh, let's... <laughs> uh, take all the yarn and all the thread. And I think that's about all I want out of you. Let's have let's have us have some cloth and silk on hand just in case. And uh, overall, I think that's about it. Yep. All right. Uh, still killing s cephalothorax. Wow, dead GCS. You are killing everything down here, dude. All right, and oh, this is the okay. I see, I see, I see. This is the small library that we built. <laughs> He's making funnels. Funnel. I have a black bear wandering around the house. I don't know. If that's a good thing. Okay. Um. So we just got a bunch of leather. So, uh... Sheep leather... I don't think the leather quiver can be anything but. Uh... By which I mean, like... Actually, there's a bit easier way to do this. Uh, we have five. And then... So, make as... Make five sets of art leather armor for humans out of specifically sheep leather, because I like continuity. And then make the other leather the other sheep armor. So, I was saying that... Um, J M Q. Okay, like we can't. Well, uh, we can't tell we can't tell our craftspeople to use everything but sheep leather. We can only tell them to just use sheep leather. So in that case, it's better to just use up that resource early, and then kind of have everybody else do their own thing. Also, Um, 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 equip, uniform, archers, <laughs> and let's make sure that everybody who's not really doing anything gets themselves armed and ready for the invasion of, like, every beast under the goddamn sun. I don't remember if I made my masons, like, double up as workers. And right now I'm too lazy to check. Alright, cool. Not perfect, but it'll do. We have new clay now, so we gotta make use of that. Uh, 
trap components of type steel and steel giant axe blades. Cool. We now have double our forge capability. Uh, what was sterling silver again? Okay, so with silver we can only make weapons, and silver by virtue of its weight, and its relative inability to hold edge, is only good for blunt weapons. Okay, who... Why? Why did the farmer come into the forge and just drop an apple next to the magma? Uh, why is that a sentence that actually makes sense? Striking. Still learning about funnels. <laughs> Life is quite Spartan in this fortress. Uh, it is now 23rd of limestone. Okay. I should have been paying more attention to like, but I mean, it says early autumn, so it's gonna be mid-autumn pretty soon. Yeah, that's a stupid comment to make. Are you dying yet? Make some like uh, so it's plant fiber, right? So it's cloth. Make some shirts. Uh, make some yarn socks, I guess. Make some cloth shoes. And make some silk trousers, because we want to be dapper. F1 is the location where shit is hitting the fan in a very constant fashion. F2 is water. F3 is, uh, eyes. Looks like we can't really make use of this. Although that might just be because we have such low manpower that we can't carry them up to the rooftops.
biggest problem with the wearer beast is we can't stop a wearer beast. And the wearer beasts are everywhere. They hate us. They want our hobbit seeds. <clears throat> So what's actually needed to make steel or silver? I should I should know this. Uh, I don't remember. We'll find out sooner or later. Also, we need to do something with that copper. I mean... Hmm. <laughs> if the strength of a... Sh right, like, shields don't break, per se, right? Like, we're... Dwarf Fortress isn't quite worried about that kind of mechanics yet, I feel like. So, we should... We could make our shields out of copper. Alright, like, that makes sense to me. Or we could just use our copper as decoration. Which... Doesn't really fit with the our idea of, like, a warlike Spartan-esque society. We're like the nice Spartans. We don't enslave our own people, just other people. So, just normal Spartans, then. <clears throat> hey, first of s On the first of sandstone, a giant ohm has been killed by this extremely violent alligator. Alright, so I'm gonna, you know, cut here. And, uh, yeah. It's about time for the full moon again, which means we'll see if the bitten worker turns into a goddamn were marmo, Which I think is like a... A marmo's a... Uh, like, you know, a primate, right? Hmm. In any event. Later.